So hi, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my uh, molten strike flask tank build. So I play I'm playing this on the Arena server because it actually has access to um, the 1.2 patch. So uh, I made an account and sniped a whole bunch of names like USA, for instance, or some imitation grinding your game staff. Um, so I'm just gonna log into this guy. So, uh, Molten Strike is actually a pretty strong skill. It has two components. There's the projectile component and the actual melee component. The DPS tooltip is actually the melee component. So if you actually hit a mob with the actual attack, not the projectiles coming off it, that's the DPS of that. And the projectiles have their own DPS. So, um, melee physical damage, for instance, doesn't really have any effect on the projectiles. Whereas, physical projectile damage will have an effect on the projectiles, but won't be reflected in the tooltip. So, um, just keep that in mind. Molten Strike is a pretty goofy, um... DPS output. So, uh, the current DPS I have on a 4 link is 9,700 to put an actual damage gear instead of this magic find gear, basically. I have 11,400, so it's slightly better. Um, so I'm going to run this waste pool with, I think, monster speed and chilled drowned, I think. Let's go. <clears throat> so, um, this is pretty much, like, it's pretty gear independent. I have a lot of resistance off the tree. I wouldn't construct the tree the exact same way as I construct it now, because I didn't know flasks would be quite as strong. Like, I knew they were better, but I didn't realize how much better. They are pretty much more than twice as effective. So there are flask nodes off the tree, and there's quite a few of them, and I took... A lot of them actually. So I took um, what inflict that note is and herbalism, I think. So uh, that makes flasks 80% stronger than like the tooltip would actually show. So these instant flasks, for instance, this heals about 1,500 around there. So I mean, three three uses and it's already like refilled my entire life pool basically. Um, previously in the old version of the game, even if you got the nodes they would heal about 600-ish total. So, you know, the flask's about three times as effective, roughly. So what is this? Three something, something, two something, and something and something else. I don't fucking know. Let's pop it and run. Oh, explosives. So I don't have any life leech or life gain on hit. Pretty much all my recovery is coming just directly from instant flasks and an eternal flask, which heals for about 6,000, 7,000 over 6 seconds. So, um, yeah, that, that's like where all my recovery comes from. There's no leech at all. I might have like a little bit of life gain on hit off of some random piece of gear, but it's nothing really that significant. Um, all the mana I have... As you notice, like, I don't have any mana leech, and I can still like, kind of like spam through attacks. And there's this node over here called Revelry, which gives 2 mana gain on hit and 20 mana gain on kill. So if you have an attack that is, like, pretty hit heavy, so it does quite a, like, a lot of hits, um, like, per mana cost, like, it's hit efficient per point of mana used, uh, Revelry is as good as you think it is. It makes... If you have like a tiny amount of mana pool left, like I have 120, I can use my attack three, four times without needing any like mana, but it completely it just keeps it up. So, uh, really no mana issues, even in a no regen map or a half regen map, it plays exactly the same. So, it's a pretty, pretty safe, decent, easy to gear out character, I guess. Um, the build I have would, would be better done as a ranger, so you just start as a ranger and go through here and get that attack speed down, and then just chop out this whole bit from the duelist tree. And then instead of going over here, you go through here and through this endurance charge to grab grizzly technique. And then pick up whatever respective uh, damage nodes you have for whatever uh, weapon you're using or happen to find. I'm playing entirely, pretty much entirely self on The only thing I actually bought was this axe. So, uh, you know, our comes promise is basically as good as it can really get. So after, uh, so with this character I'll probably respec some points eventually like this. 
life node here and these it nodes here when I feel like I when I want to stop magic point and get like hatchet master or uh, splitting strikes or cleaving or splitting strikes and cleaving, yeah. Then do that. Um Yeah, well, pretty decent build I guess. On the greenest server. So uh there's one point two there's not there's some of the new stuff that uh, you'll find in Forsaken Masters in a couple of days. Like, for instance, a Warlord's Mark equivalent curse doesn't exist. Which would kind of be nice to at least have. You know, just for like endurance charges or something. Or cast damage taken low level Warlord's Mark or something. Just something. Well, that's basically the build. Um. What else is there? I don't know. But yeah, I'm Gouda. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.